Hello students, and welcome back to the next lesson in our AS Physical Geography playlist. Today we're going to be looking at deposition. Deposition in the river. The term deposition is used to describe the laying down of sediment which is transported by the river. Now, deposition mainly occurs when the river doesn't have enough energy to either transport or then erode the material that it has on the inside. So it can occur when the discharge decreases, of course, then lowering energy and not having enough to transport the material. When there is shallow water, hence decreasing discharge again pretty much and having much less area where the, uh, the material can then travel through. The velocity decreases, hence decreasing the energy and not being able to take it as far or then transport it. And when there is an increase in the size of the load hence making the river not powerful and energetic enough to be able to transport the load somewhere else. Depositing substances. The lower the energy that a river has, the sooner the load will then be deposited. This also works with a larger load. The larger it is, the sooner it will be deposited because when you need to deposit a substance, you have generally a lot less energy. You need energy to be able to transport a load. So here we have a cross section of what a river should look like. We're going to divide it into three stages, the upstream, the middle course, and downstream. So this is what each um, bit part of deposition looks like in the river. In the upstream, there is far more energy and the amount of load can then be transported through the river. So here, it generally doesn't get deposited and is currently moving through the river. In the middle course, we get less energy and the, and the amount of material then begins to get deposited. So at the moment, it's more or less just either moving through tra traction or saltation, and it's not quite traveling through full speed in the river, but it's beginning to settle. Then in the downstream, the sediment is settling completely because the river doesn't have enough energy to then transport the material or erode it. So as a result, it gets deposited and left where it's stationary in the downstream. Here are some questions. What we'd like you to do now is pause the video and have a go at attempting them. Once you're ready to see the answers, hit play. Okay, so here you have the answers. If you did get all three of them right, congratulations. I would advise you to move on to the next video. However, if you did not, just go over your notes once more or pause the video and rewind to where you may have tripped up and have another go at attempting the test. So then you can be sure to be confident when you walk into the exam. As always, thank you so much for watching and join next time where we're going to be looking at the river load. If you have any more information that you'd like to find out for AS Physical Geography, be sure to check out www.revisealevel.co.uk. Until next time, I will see you then. Goodbye.